This shot here in the finale of The Bad Batch was really important, and here's why. Throughout the Clone Wars, and now The Bad Batch, we've been treated with many of the starships and flagships that consisted of that time era. Many of these expensive models to make were able to be used time and time again throughout all three shows as a cost-saving measurement. But this shot was the first time we canonically see a Star Destroyer in Clone Wars animation, outside of the trailer for Tales of the Empire. But the writers used this new model in quite a smart way. Just as the crew entered hyperspace and Tarkin exited it, we're presented with a symbolization that the last remnants of the Clone Wars is now over, and the Galactic Empire era has officially began, all with an iconic pan of the ship. The Bad Batch spent many of its episodes documenting the transition between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope, with the change from clone troopers to stormtroopers, the Senate losing power, and the build-up of distrust in the newly formed Empire. All that remained was the transition of ships, which the final episode finally confirmed. For more Star Wars shorts, check out this one appearing on the end screen now.